Well, somebody I know you have seen MJF, he popped up yeah. recently. Uh, it was a big opportunity for them because it feels like Dana White once upon a time used to highlight whenever WWE guys would show up, whether it was the rock or stone cold or the undertaker. Well, they showed MJF on the pay-per-view with his AEW title. Uh, and, and that's a big crossover opportunity, uh, that, that AEW has not normally been afforded. Do you think MJF can be one of those, uh, main crossover mainstream stars? Do you think he could have that appeal someday? Um, yeah, I mean, if anybody does right now, if any of the young guys, he, he, he gets a lot of people's attention. He gets mine. I love watching him. Yeah. I mean, he, you know, he's he, to me, he, 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 he reminds me a little bit of the Miz and that he obviously he takes it so serious. Yes. I mean, the, the Miz, my respect for the Miz is unlimited just because of the, the commitment of time and his work ethic. And I mean, the Miz just, when he, whatever, whatever assignment they give him, he pulls off and he, and he does a good job of it. And, you know, and even though he never wins, but I mean, the stuff with Logan Paul, um, I mean, everybody, anything that any assignment they give them is he makes, he makes it good. All right. Yeah. And there's a guy that, you know, started out, we discussed it before, you know, getting bullied around by people that have no right doing it. So, um, and he made it and look, look at him all, look how successful he is. So hats off to him and think the world of him and his family. Uh, Rick, let's talk about Bronson Reed. I don't know if you saw, but Hunter has brought back yet another fellow. He came in and splashed, uh, Dexter Loomis over the weekend and helped the Miz. You were just raving yep. about pull something off. Bronson Reed was a guy that a lot of people thought was going to have a, a bright future. And especially the way he had been featured in NXT and then poof, he was gone. Once again, Hunter has brought him back. What do you think about why, Bronson why, Reed? Why, why was he gone? Man, who knows? You know, when, when the whole, yeah. I, I never understood that. I, I don't think anybody did, but he's back in uh, WWE now. What do you expect? Well, he he does some amazing stuff for a guy his size. Yes. Oh, so, I mean, I haven't heard him talk that much, but um, anytime you're that agile and that big, and, and you you can expect anything, and I, and like I said, I think that um, with the number of guys that are getting hurt and the, doesn't seem to change there's always going to be injuries it's a very physical sport as we talk about but i think hunter's building the depth chart and i like i said i I would assume he's getting these guys back at a more reasonable rate okay so um you know because a a lot of people get paid a lot of money that don't deserve it and uh you know in that case in this case i hope he's making as much as he possibly can but um if he's an addition, and I think I think he's good. I haven't seen a lot of him, but I think he's good. Let, let me see him in a couple single matches, and I'll be able to give you a better opinion. 